Oh, well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to another Ride Along with Goggles. And uh, here we've got a Viper 389, the SCS Triple Low Boy, and uh, a Beet Harvester. So I thought that would be pretty cool. We were talking about them the other day. And uh, uh, yeah, so, and fittingly enough, this load is going from Haver uh, to Glendive, which is. I guess beet country over there in the, you know the eastern half I guess of Montana is kind of what they were saying and what I read so anyway it's kind of fitting let's uh, get on with it should be a good trip now the one one thing I forgot is to put beacons on the truck so it's a bit of a wide load it's not terrible but I'll, I'll put them on we got them on the trailer anyway so Interesting load. And, uh, yeah, if we were pointing the other direction, I would go out that way and discover that uh, hidden road out that we, we noticed in the, the last video. But that's not going to happen. It's, it's this way this loading thing turns you around. So we got the um, big sky skin on here, and I just thought I'd try this sort of light sky blue Absolutely. instead of the dark blue I had on the, Turn left. Turn in left. the uh, images I put up of the truck when I did the skin. I was kind of looking forward to it, see if I could get this thing out the other uh, exit, the one uh, we passed. We'll pass on, the, it'll be on the left up here. kind of fun at farm sim they have a, a beet harvester that you uh, uh, farm sim I never grew beets but I did uh, buy a few properties that had potatoes on them and uh, there's a mod for a beet harvester that works for potatoes <laughs> it goes like 25 miles an hour or something it's it's pretty hilarious see the potatoes flying out of the ground. <laughs> uh, mods. So here's that exit. So this would be a discoverable road here. Back all the way around to the farm over there. This is an awfully tall load. I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen when we come to a bridge. Sixty-five thousand pounds. Go straight. Oh, stop sign. Well, how come? I just blew through that on the way over here. On the other side, there's no stop sign over there. Interesting. Okay, well there's something we can fix. Go straight. Yeah, it's pretty tall load. I kind of want this on that uh, pink as uh, rail trailer. Get the center of gravity down. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. Somebody stepped behind us here. Sorry about that, Bubba. Oh, 
Uh, hop in the truck. See, I, I might have it a little loud. We'll see. Yeah, it's pretty loud in here. Sometimes when I do the video, it doesn't seem quite as bad. You can actually still hear me. I don't know. Uh, no service. I looked along the route. Something along the way I could pull in and throw some beacons on the truck, but yeah, service is few and far between uh, Go straight. out here. The thing, uh, one of the things I, I had mentioned in the past, I'm sure, and showed you uh, as I drove by it and or were at the, was at the yard was on uh, Recon Lobster's original Montana expansion map before uh, Montana came out from SCS he had a um, he had a um, service facility at the hell on the garage which is kind of neat I'll hop back up so we can, can communicate but yeah that was nice having that uh, that one the one garage the whole game <laughs> All the map mods I had, Recon had hell on it with the service thing, which is pretty cool. And that's, you know, I mean, if I was uh, running a trucking empire, that's the way I'd have it. Like, um, you know, maybe if I had 50 garages, you'd have 10 of them. Or with uh, some form of service available. It could be different levels of service or capabilities. Wouldn't have to be all guys who could tear down and rebuild the motor for you, but you'd want some oil change, loop, minor maintenance, tires, all that kind of stuff. You'd want to have that pretty much across the board because if you're running your trucking empire, you're paying your own guys to do that maintenance and service as opposed to going, you know, taking everything out, paying over the odds for it. And uh, the economics. That's pretty cool, Carlo. Oh, uh, yeah, let's uh, oh, let's get on the road here. Let's see if we can't get her. Lined up in the road, and we'll see if we can get a photo here. Oh, I don't want that, I want a photo. There we go. This uh, steering uh, force feedback mod I use on the old G25 is awesome. It's so stable, like you can, if you get the truck pointed straight, it goes straight. 
Yeah, the force feedback mod is called the uh, real G27, and uh, I don't know where you actually find it anymore. But uh, once you get it figured out and how to use it, set it up, and everything, it's pretty good. You don't set it up in a GUI in the game like with a, a menu. You have to set it up. It's kind of like setting up uh, your um, uh, config file where you have a whole bunch of, like, you know, in your config file you can set up uh, colors and your whatever distance between you know, for picking up uh, objects in the distance, all that sort of stuff. You can put a number beside the value, or a value in that number slot. Kind of like that. And uh, there's a printout that comes with it, a PDF. And print that out, and it's got all the destructions on it. You can have that or make it the way you want it. And it uh, turned this old G25 into a, <laughs> I call it the million dollar wheel. It's awesome. I think it works on G29 as well. Once again, it's real G27. I can't even remember where I got it. I think it was on the SCS forum. On the official SCS site. I think it's in there. I'll, I'll try and figure it out if I can. I'll put a link to it just in case you want to try messing with it. It's a bin file, so it goes in your bin 64 stuff uh, in the root directory of the game. Go straight. Um, what was the other thing about it? There's something else curious, I think. Um, there's times when you'd have to uninstall it for some reason. I can't even remember what that is. Oh, hey, there's those beet harvesters. I up that road and got a load out of there the other day. So Glasgow must be right up ahead here. So Glasgow, I think we're going to be hanging a right. Yep, Glasgow. First time we've been here in this profile. Hamburgers, 99 cents. Holy. And there's nobody in the parking lot?
it's gonna Keep be Keep right. Yeah. After 50 yards, turn right. Turn right. Oh, that's pretty close to a stop. After 100 yards, turn left. It's kind of maddening how quick those things come down. Turn left. Though I haven't, I don't think I've had to stop for a train yet in this one, so I don't know if they fixed it. Nice if they'd have a go at it. Like have those bells ring for five seconds or more before the barrier comes down, like in real life. Looks like an old KV something international. It's kind of wide in the grill, but that fire truck, like a KV7 or something, but. Stockyard. Let's see if you can see the cowboys going around. Yep, <laughs> I saw him there. Uh, that lad's got to be getting tired. He must be on his fifth set of pants since we last saw him. Under 1600 must be 336s. Oh, wandering all over the road looking at the scenery. There's that power plant that we Faraday or what was it? Great Western Energy. Comes a steerman. There's a dude fishing down there. This is some kind of rail terminal here, I guess. It's got rail track coming into it. Oh, maybe that was up here. This little building here. Didn't be getting much in that little thing. Oh, maybe it's got something to do with maintenance on the dam here? Maybe we can see where this, uh, what this track does on the right here. Follow it. And it just ends, so that'll be some kind of maintenance thing. Maintenance equipment. South for a ways here, and then we're going to head east.
feel about that uh, force feedback in the game, the default one? Your truck's idling and the steering wheel's shaking away. And, wow, there's just some weird stuff going on there. The other thing that really drives me nuts all along, ever since I played the game, and before I got this mod uh, sorted out, was the um, off road. Like you go off road and you think you had no tie rod ends left in your truck. Like the wheel be shaking all over and it'd just be like, man, the truck's about to fall apart. I better get it in and find out what's broken on the steering. Because that's not real. <laughs> that's not even close to being realistic. These things have such big steering boxes, such big components, such high pressure steering pump and pressure that the road bumps barely affect the wheel. There's there's enough, you have road feel, it's very similar to a car. Like your, your road, road feel. Excellent. They steer great. It's not like in the movies where you see the whole guy bouncing down the road doing this. Yards, turn left. You just sit there and you just hold turn the left. wheel. That's funny because uh, some guys call, you know, uh, I guess. Oops, that's too soon to get into that gear. Call the uh, driver's steering wheel holders. But I mean, it's really, it's not a big deal. It's, these things drive great when they're properly maintained. Very precise and very uh, stable. And that whole notion of going off road and all of a sudden the wheel's shaking in your hands. I got her, it's really, really bad terrain for long, long distances, and, uh, it's just nonsense. So anyway, hey, there's Dan's rant for the day. <laughs> All right, we're done. Let's get on to join this. Circle. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, this was on uh, Recon's map. Circle Montana. I see there's waste management. That's because of the real advertising thing going. As opposed to the... Uh... Oh, hey. Now I must have the real gas station thing. Why is that not changing the gas stations? So there's Gallon and that was Aaron back there. Well, I'll have to check into that. Maybe I don't have that mod going in here. Keep right. I see a little umbrella out down there. A little shore fishing. That's what I wanted to do, 18th gear. <laughs> oh boy. The chance of getting trees on the hills, on top of these hills like this, in dry country like this, is kind of 
slim. Like that row of trees further back along the fence line was kind of real. But the moisture tends to run off these sandy hills pretty quick. Trees have a tough time up there. I guess the, the devs, uh, they come from areas that are, I, I don't know, where are they checking? They're in, uh, are they in Prague or Budapest or somewhere? Not sure. Oh, here's a bridge. I forgot to check it up. I don't know if we went under any bridges yet. Let's scope this out and see how close we are. Oh, we got lots of clearance here. Nice little drive. Sunday morning drive. Oops. I kind of like the sky blue paint. They're all going to wait for me, okay? Mighty kind of you. Keep right. After 50 yards, turn right. Oh, I'm going to grab a little bit of this lane. Sorry, guys. Turn right. so much a guy comes up the inside. You have reached your destination. <clears throat> Alrighty. I haven't done one of these loads in a long time. Let's see if we can get it on the spot. all this stuff. Well, I took the garbage can out along the way here. Oh, no, there it is, right there. I seem to remember it was a little more in the way before. Maybe it wasn't. Uh, maybe I wonder if I got over far enough. Find out soon enough. Yeah, it leaves quite a bit of that stinger out there. Oh well. Well, there we have it. Let's see how we did. Three oh three, forty-one gallons. Oh, that's not bad. Good stuff. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And, uh, <clears throat> well, I'll get a frog in my throat right at the wrong moment. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, thanks very much for your subscriptions. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care, and bye for now.